Hey guys, today we are building this beautiful framed artwork from the upcoming game Watch Dogs 2 Legion. Play claim. Have you seen this trailer from Watch Dogs 2 Legion? Ah, I am still so impressed by the futuristic London and um, also the murder which is happening and the company which is building the city into a controllable city. Well, it is this right now. I've been there. There are plenty of um, security camps, but it is nothing compared to the situation which is inter introduced to us in the trailer of Watch Dogs 2 Legion. And then this... <sighs> you can play as everyone walking on the streets you can play as everyone walking on the streets. And you can play everyone as everyone walking on the streets. It's, uh, I'm so looking forward to, cre to, to, to play this um, actually. Because you can play the old lady with her cane. You can play the plumber with his tools. You can play a hitman with his weapons. You can play a crazy cy cyber lady with her um, tiny toys, which are robots. Ah, so it's an amazing game. Uh, it is coming out in October. And well, you can hear this. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> we are creating a framed artwork today. I wanted to do this for a few months now. Well, since I saw the very first video footage from this game. It's coming out in October, I told you that before. But I first noticed the game almost a year ago on Gamescom in here in Germany uh, 2019 and I saw everyone walking around with these Mr. Pig's um, masks. Oh, that was an early oven. <laughs> I did that just to save and to make sure that I would not screw up on the trousers and on the beautiful shoes which we already created. So this is the leader of the underground and I'm not really sure if he has a name but uh, well I just call him Mr. Piggy. It makes it way more easy and we dress him up, we suit him up the only disturbing thing about him, besides this English businessman looking style with the suit, the tie and the beautiful shoes, is actually the pig mask and, uh, and maybe the cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> so we are giving him his tie and then we will dress him up. Um, it's a very easy way to create him in this style. I created the legs, we added the white clay for the shirt and now this, I think it's a trench coat. Yeah, it's a trench coat and um, yeah, <laughs> it's all in layers. It's um, adding on top of the existing clay layers, so it's quite easy to create. And the beautiful thing about clay today is we can create all these wrinkles and folds in the fabric and it looks really realistic. I think so, well at least. <laughs> so we are adding some details to Mr. Piggy's trench coat and then we will also work on some other crazy stuff. This video was or is actually another collaboration with GTV. So if you want to see a slightly longer version of this video with me speaking German, go check out GTV. I'll link it right now. And um, yeah, I, I really, really want to support this amazing project in the future as well to celebrate gaming in general. And I'm really happy to be part of this new channel. 
we are adding now some beautiful details, some tiny buttons to Mr. Piggy's trench coat. This button, the huge buttons on the front, I decided to make them slightly bigger than the ones um, on the top. And now we are mixing the beautiful color for the mask. We have some pink, ochre and red. And look at that. Okay, what do we have to do? Well, I think it should be quite easy for a face. I'm struggling with faces, but not with animal faces because it's, well, <laughs> I don't know. It's quite, it's way more easy. Maybe it is because we as humans tend to interpret, in, in, interpretate, in, in, inter, inter, interpretate. How is it pronounced? Interpre in, interpret. It's interpret. I just <laughs> listened to Google's voice. Interpret. To interpret many things into a human face and this is what it makes so difficult for us or maybe it's just me to create a human face out of clay. We just see too many mistakes on the face because this is quite important for us as humans to understand people's mimic, people's reactions and emotions. And well, Mr. Piggy looks quite amazing so far. We are adding some black yeah, for the inside part of the mask and adding this to the trench coat. It already looks amazing. We are adding this tiny cigarette smoking kills. Remember that kids? And the ears are just a little bit damaged. We have this label in his right ear and I really want to make sure that it has the same size and after oven hardening we will paint some details onto this tiny shield. There is a barcode printed onto this tiny button or shield. <laughs> Okay, we put Mr. Piggy aside because we will add some further beautiful details to our framed artwork. I'm not sure if you have seen this in the thumbnail. We are adding a few more security cams. When you have been to London or maybe you are living in London, um, you know that this city has a crazy amount of security cams and in the trailer um, well, we see the murder of, is it, the, is it the mayor of the city? Well, he is killed by someone from a company um, and they really lock down the city, make it or want to make it more secure, adding more cameras, adding drones. Um, and you are in the role to fight um, among with the underground to free the city again um, and this is what makes the security camp so important after the security camps we will work on a tiny drone and also this tiny spider robot spider now these are the holding mechanisms for the security cams. I used some silver clay, added some black to that, and hopefully it works. We may need some super glue for this to glue it to the frames. Well, we'll see. Maybe we add some more tiny details like screws to these holding mechanisms. Beautiful. Okay. Now, this is the drone which is flying in the air and I think as far as I have understood the trailer, this drone is part of the, of the system. The system which tries to control the people in London. It has two rotor blades on each side and also I think a weapon, but I wasn't really sure about that. Well. We'll add a camera lens in as well. Um, it's also a combination of a flashlight because it tries to hunt down people and really wants to see what people are doing. And I'm honest, up to this point, I have no idea how to create the rotor blades, but well, we'll see. We create the spider for now. Oh no, wait, 
It's not a spider. This will be a cyber insect. Because it has six legs and spiders have eight. Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> How to create all the legs. Well, I, I try something out. Maybe we add the weapons first, the dangerous blades, and maybe another camera. I don't really know if this spider will be friendly so that you can control it. I think so. Um, because we have seen some gameplay from Legion um, that you can control, even control these tiny robots. Here we go for the six legs! And we are adding some more screws. <laughs> and maybe this looks just nice when we will add this to the frame. Now we are adding the other segments of the legs. It's a nice technique. I think it's the first time I did that. Now it's some time for liquid clay. Hopefully this gets really transparent. And we also have the monocle from Mr. Piggy. <laughs> and hopefully it gets transparent and looks like some lenses and the monocle. Well, we're ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Mr. Piggy. I think somewhere in this video I will accidentally say Mrs. Piggy. <laughs> we take this very, very thin black pen for the barcode and for some details on the cigarette. And then I take this gray pen to just make the mask a little bit more dirty. Because in the artworks I have seen as reference images it always looked so dark and dirty. The transparent polish for the buttons. Oops, that was too much. That they get shiny and beautiful. And maybe on the shoes. The typical London businessman shoes. And this is the monocle. Gets an outline with black. With my black pen. Whoa. <gasps> Look at that. It even has a magnifying effect. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Well, I didn't expect it to magnify things, but it's even better this way. And now it's shiny with a transparent polish. Oh boy, I feel like playing with a Lego. <laughs> we start with the cameras, with the security cameras. And I glue the cameras to their bracket so that we can glue the bracket to the frame. Just adding some tiny details. CTOS. Is this the name of the security company? But I'm not really sure about that. It would make sense, though. Adding some transparent polish to the lens of the security cams. Already looks so amazing. Let's put this aside. Spider or drone? Ah, it's not spider. Insect. Cy cyber insect. <laughs> I'm curious how, how it will work with the legs. Let's just try it out with the first leg. Yeah, okay, the super glue is um, amazing for this job. And we can assemble this guy, which is also probably spying on people or helping to assassinate them, <laughs> who knows. Maybe I add a little bit more of transparent polish to make the metal a little bit more shiny. And no, now let's work on the drone. Still, I have no idea how to make the rotor blades. But, well, let's first do our homework and assemble all the stuff. Just made the flashlight a little bit more flashy with the white pen. And this is the structure. This is maybe a weapon we are adding there. Some transparent polish as well. Okay, maybe we go with thick paper. Maybe this is a good idea. Let's see. The problem about the rotor blades is that it is somehow circled. 
but also twist it. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm really happy with the solution to work with this thick paper. We can now glue the frames to the drone. Look at that! Oh, the security cam or Cy, Cybot and the drone. And this is our frame. It's really thick. It's, no, is it like two or three inches thick? I have this background where I removed Mr. Piggy and also the people on the front because in the final artwork I wanted to add some more people to the front. This is important to the game. You can play as everyone, so everyone should be included in the framed artwork. The people are not so important, but more the thing that you can play as everyone. Okay, now let's glue this into the frame with my beloved two-sided tape. Okay, I have only one shot to glue the background right onto the two-sided tape because my printer was running out of um, ink. But this should work. For the bottom I decided to not make um, a hard edge but to make it curved like this so it almost um, can't be recognized it goes right into the ground over into the ground now we remove a little bit right here uh, okay this doesn't really look clean but well I have some tricks to cover this with a black pen here you go, it almost looks perfect, also for the other edges. The frame is finished, love it already. Maybe we can glue the first security cam right there. Second and third. The drone, how to fix it onto the background. Probably some wire, some black wire is a good idea. Let's drill a tiny hole. Stick it in and I think I'll just use some tape on the back side and maybe some super glue. Our cybot goes right there and Mr. Piggy, <laughs> the boss of the underground movement, goes right in the middle. It's, it, wow, look at that. It almost looks exactly like the, the artwork which we know so well. Well, at least if you like the game. <laughs> and then we have some random persons walking by. I did not want to create them with clay. It would have made them too important. I just wanted them to appear in this artwork. And this is why I decided to just print them out, put them on thick cardboard, and yeah, hopefully it works. Hopefully it looks great. I did some Photoshop on the background and removed these guys as well, together with um, Mr. Piggy. And now we can glue them right in front. Looks amazing. Maybe we can fix this while um, it's still drying. The glue, the hot glue gun is still drying. Then in the artwork I saw these laser beams. I use some thread to give this artwork its finishing touch. Oh, it looks so cool. I'll hang this to my wall, guys! That's it! Watch Dogs 2 Legion! Another framed artwork! Woohoo! Ah! Guys, I hope you enjoyed this framed artwork. Let me know if you want to see more from this game. Have a great, have an amazing weekend. Take care, guys. Bye.